Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's third video. We're going to have a look at the weather. For the next 10 to 14 days for today's third video, day 10, will take us to the 12th of August. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the external GFS and ECM ensembles. They run to around a couple of weeks. So I'll we'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us to the end of the month. I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was our 6 a.m. upload. And we'll also release the ECMWF, our 30-day look ahead uh, for UK and for the rest of Europe too. Um, so check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Please like, share, subscribe on this. And thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. Right, so let's start off uh, bringing up date with everything that's happened in July. First of all, it's been a very, very uh, interesting month, say, believe the CT is in uh, now, finalised. So, uh, July's sensory temperature came out, came out at 18.2, was in fact an 18 Celsius CT uh, July, like 2.2 degrees above average. Notice no downwards correction. With that, so um, the days where we uh, lop off like half a degree or so uh, appear to be gone, they're, they're sorted that out now that you came out. And so when we get to the end of the month, we should pretty much know what the finalised number uh, is going to be. So 18.2, that is our hottest July and our hottest month since uh, 2018. Hottest July, hottest month since July uh, 2018. And uh, the last time we had that... Uh, July came out in the 19th. The last time we had an 18 Celsius city in July was uh, 2013. All part of, uh, you know, a, a very extreme month. So uh, this tweet was put out by the UK Met a few days ago, uh, confirming 40.3 degrees was in fact the highest temperature, uh, highest maximum temperature. So, so they tweeted um, the UK's new record high temperature of 40.3 Celsius has been confirmed following a rigorous process of analysis and quality control. Uh, a measure of news release as well, where you get the full uh, statistics. So uh, that was uh, uh, put out on the 28th of July, um, record temperature uh, verified. And of course, that to temperature, if we click through, uh, occurred at Coningsby in uh, Lincolnshire, 40.3 degrees. Uh, at uh, Coningsby in uh, Lincolnshire, back on that extraordinarily uh, hot day back in uh, July. But you can also tweet if this July 2022 uh, will be a month uh, to remember. The highest temperature record was set in the UK and England saw its driest July since 1935. Uh, so, Southern England have had their driest July on record. Uh, it was the driest July for England in totality since 1935 and the second and the second warmest January to July on record. A really, really extraordinary month. This is how the overall temperature anomaly looks. Um, second, it's 81 to 2010 for July 2022. You see, particularly eastern areas, very, very significantly uh, above average, and uh, this is how the precipitation anomaly looks, rainfall anomaly looks uh, set against 81-2010. And again, very, very dry, particularly so down across more southern, southeastern parts of the country, a little bit wetter though, uh, across the far north of Scotland, but an exceptionally dry July in the south and southeast, following on from uh, a run uh, uh, of uh, average or dry months, except for February so far this year. So we'll remember July 2022 for a long time, uh, I think. But of course, now we wait to see what August has got in store. So these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles in the next couple of weeks. And only at Dudley today. So red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Dudley, uh, starting off above average at the moment. Very warm and keeping out there today. We are actually going to see a bit of cool down taking place through the second half of this week, so it will feel a bit cooler and fresher for a while. But as we go into next week, through the second week of August, uh, we see the upper air temperature lifting up, becoming much warmer, if not hot, as we go through uh, next week. And uh, we have got several ensemble members here sometime around the 14th, uh, 15th of uh, August, so around the middle of the month. have got several ensemble members that are just about managing to reach 20 degrees 
and 850 HP. That's very hot air surging uh, northwards once again. They are at the extreme end of the range, but they're definitely going to be like a big warm-up and potentially quite a hot spell through the second week of uh, August, I think, uh, if uh, if these upper air temperatures are to be believed. Maybe cooling down a bit as we go into the third week of August, but of course that is a same range. And continues to be really dry as well. The drought goes on. Uh, so lots and lots of dry weather coming up over the next week to 10 days. Maybe a little bit more unsettled there into the second half of August. But again, that's at the same range. It's very unreliable. So um, it just looks uh, really dry, I have to say, uh, over the next week to 10 days. That, that goes on. Temperature anomalies on the 2nd to the 10th of August are going to be above average, quite widely so, across most parts of Europe, so we're not alone in this, um, but yes, another uh, warm sort of week to come. Uh, precipitation anomalies on and on it goes, you get dry than normal, especially so for England and Wales. Latest wind from that from EarthNordSchool.net shows that we are bringing in the wind from off the Atlantic today, actually I've got some low pressure out to west of Scotland, so it has brought some wet weather to the uh, central swathe of the country very little, if only down in the south and southeast, though. And this area of low pressure will be moving away by the end of week and into weekends, allowing high pressure to come back. So let's have a quick look then at some chart data. This is how the UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Friday. High pressure ridging in from off the Atlantic. It's rather cool northwesterly um, at the end of the week, but over the weekend, this area of high pressure takes over, dominates the weather. And as it becomes centrally located over the top of the country, uh, temperatures will become uh, very warm too. Into next week, back to high pressure continues to be rolling very over and slightly to the east of the country, pulling in hot air from the continent. So uh, temperatures will be getting hotter through the early part of next week. Uh, 15 Celsius ice firm there heading in towards the south. That could uh, well be a little lift, lifting. The temperature up to around 30 degrees down on the surface. Icon! Looks like that. Again, wind stream from the northwest on Friday. Rather showery and a little bit on the cool side as well. Over the weekend into next week, high pressure takes over, reaching from the Azores up to Scandinavia. Lots of dry and warm, if not quite hot weather through the uh, early part of next week. GFS Midnight Run, which we know is going to get very hot eventually, uh, looks like this. Cooler, showery northwest wind perhaps on Friday. And then the high pressure takes over as we move into the weekend. That brings loads of dry and fine, very warm to hot weather with it into the early part of uh, next week. A big old ridge from the Azores all the way up to northern Europe through the middle part of uh, next week. And up to day 10, that high pressure remains in control. Just a little bit cooler and showering for Northern Scotland, perhaps by day 10, 12th of August. But for England, way of Scotland, that area of high pressure still looking very warm to your heart. And then the high pressure of breaks east as we go through towards the middle part of uh, August. We're very extended range now, but uh, into 14th of August, we begin to pull up some very hot air again from the south. Another heat spike. Uh, surging northwards there, notice plus 20 cells, ice cream is back in again across uh, many parts, uh, but central, southern and southeastern England plus 25 Celsius, ice firm there sitting over northern parts of France. So we're back into really hot weather there by the uh, middle of August, that will lift the temperature probably to the upper 30 Celsius, back to 100 Fahrenheit. Again, only very brief uh, spike of heat, uh, and then travel low pressure pushes through, maybe bringing thunder, probably not, uh, and cooling things down. We go back into the northwest by the end of the GFS midnight run, which today gets us to the 18th of August. The GFS 6 there uh, looks like that, so rather showery and a little bit on the cool side for um, Friday. Uh, that's where we're going this, so, okay, let's, um, let's what's going on there, so, let's do that, and see what happens, uh, there we go, so, I'm going to pause the video, you're going to get a chance to sit set up, I'll see you in around two seconds. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. Six Z charts are now loaded up. Right, here we go then. So, uh, Jeff has Six Z <laughs> looks like this. High pressure resuming from off the Atlantic at the end of week and into weekend. Uh, high pressure dominates the weather over weekend and into the early part of next week. Drought. Big ridge from the Azores all the way to Scandinavia. That's going to be bring lots of dry, very dry, uh, and uh, warm to hot weather. Temperature probably into the upper twenties, if not below. 
30 Celsius Mercury be early to middle part of next week. That ridge carries on throughout the week. So uh, next week's shaping up to be real classic summer weather. Hot, dry, sunny through much of the week. Um, not extreme heat, but certainly very, very warm or hot with temperatures probably hovering around 31 or 32 degrees across more southern areas. And then in the extreme range, gets even hotter briefly. We start to push up that plus 20 Celsius ice cream again over the weekend of the 13th, 14th of August. But combined with a fungi low, it is only a brief heat spike, but it's an extreme heat spike. There's a plus uh, 20 Celsius ice cream in there across England and Wales on Sunday, 14th of August. Sorry, so the midnight run, plus 25 Celsius ice cream into the southeastern corner of England again just about so uh, once more that could easily be looking temperatures into the upper 30 Celsius so around 100 barrel height depending of course on thunderstorms and whatnot but yes a brief heat spike very hot weekend 13th 14th of August quickly swept away uh, by the 15th by the 15th of August we're into a much cooler northwesterly wind up in showers and all that heat gets swept away again into uh in, in, into into europe and then beyond that into the end of the uh, gfs it's actually also a little all tunnel by the very end of it quite a deep area of road pressure to the northwest of scotland maybe bringing some gale force winds and outbreaks of rain into the north and west if you enjoyed the video please you like share subscribe thank you so much everybody uh but doing that we only got to put on around and around around 18 subscribers i think now to get ourselves to um 14.2k so please give us a tell friends and family to subscribe as well I mean, thank you so very much for doing that uh, GM, again, uh, looking rather showery and a little bit on the cooler side for Friday. Meant over the weekend, incomes that ridge of high pressure develops into a large area of high pressure as we go through next week. Uh, really dominating where seeing over top of the country. That looks very warm. Up rare temperatures. Conducers getting the surface temperature up to 30 degrees at least. So hot, dry, sunny throughout most of next week with the GEM as well. And then the ECMWF, rather showery and a little bit on the cooler side for Friday, but into the weekend, in comes a high pressure. That reach uh, continues through uh, next week as well, bringing loads of dry, warm or hot weather with it. Carries on throughout most of the week, just by the very end of the ECM run, which I we're starting to bring something a little bit cooler and more showing to the far north of Scotland. Although very hot air is only just to our south. Look at that, the 20th ice per mare in across northern parts of France. So that does kind of hint that by the weekend of the 13th and the 14th of August, we might bring some of that extreme heat up from the south if this, uh, if this heat low, uh, you know, pushes northwards. Precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from treadshow.com shows a drying trend when today is out of the way. There will be some showers in the north and northwest, but the south looks mostly dry, I have to say, through the next uh, week to 10 days. Look at this, no rainfall getting into the south really uh, in the next 10 days. So the prolonged dry spell, if not drought, goes on in the south and in the southeast too. And even northern areas will be turning drier over the next week, 10 days as well, really. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. It gets us to the 12th of August from your Icelandic Met Office. 17 members of the ECM Ensemble with a large ridge of high pressure dominating weather, bringing lots of dry, warm weather with it. 12 with high pressure over Scandinavia. That's going to be bringing a very warm or hot easy wind. Uh, 11, including the operational run with high pressure again, just ridging through the country up to day 10. Also dry, fine, very warm weather. 8 with high pressure just to the north of Scotland. Uh, again, that's bringing very warm to hot air from off the continent. And then 3 with high pressure just to our northwest. So just a little bit cooler with that winds in from the northeast. But all options involve high pressure. All options looking dry at day 10 or mostly dry at day 10. And, uh, you know, could be could be hot as well, really. And in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 17th of August. 25 members of the ECM Ensembles have low pressure. Let's do that again. 25 members of the ECM Ensembles have low pressure over the country. That's a big change. Takes high pressure out into the Atlantic. 
but sticks up a trough of low pressure over UK and Ireland. Obviously, that turns cooler and much more unsettled as well. Six in with high pressure pulling into the Atlantic low pressure across Scandinavia winds in from a northwesterly direction uh, with that. So uh, that one, um, you know, mainly dry probably still, but a little bit cooler. And then 10 just here, keeping the heat wave going, really, with high pressure over the country, bringing the wind from the east. That remains mostly dry and hot. CFSB2. 500 millibar high is looking like this. Uh, week 1 from the 2nd to the 8th of August. High pressure is in the ascendancy, especially so for south. A little bit more unsettled though uh, further north. Week 2, which is going to be the 9th to 15th of August. That's high pressure right over top of the country. Winds are drawing up from a southerly southeast. It's going to be very hot uh, in that second week of August. Week 3. Big change. It's the 16th to the 22nd of August. Low pressure appears over the UK and also Scandinavia. And so that would be much more unsettled and cooler. And then finally, week four, a little bit mysterious. This is the 23rd, 29th of August. That's just putting a question mark. It's not really clear what is happening uh, in that week as we come to the end of the Joshua summer. But it's four weeks away, so it's not worth worrying about. Anyway, right, if you enjoyed the video, then please you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think. It's all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. We only need around 18 subscribers now to get to 14.2K. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Please give us a sub. And thank you so much. Right, that's it for today's video. Today, tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have 6M upload and there'll be a 10 14 day uh, coming up for you as well. For today's, of course, we'll have more about the chance of another extreme heat spike around the middle of August. You know, we'll see uh, how things are looking tomorrow. But uh, for today's video, that's all for now. You enjoy the rest of your Tuesday and thanks for watching.